Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Not a requested topic, but I did want to cover it. I want to sort of hopefully, possibly enlighten you on something. Um, I want to discuss first, what is the moment generating function of the geometric random variable? So I have it defined as follows. Uh, X is the number of trials before a success or before a first success. So of course, um, well, I think I'll need the PMF, the probability mass function. So the probability mass function is given by the probability of success times one minus the probability of success uh, raised to the X minus one here, X is equal to one to off to infinity. So what is the moment generating function? Uh, I wanna find it and then I wanna talk about the moment generating function of the negative binomial distribution. So let's do that, let's do that. So the moment generating function uh, of my geometric uh, random variable. Remember, this should be a function of t. This should be a function of t. And um, just real quick to make sure we're all on page here, this literally defines a geometric uh, random variable with parameter p. So hopefully we're on track there. What is the MGF? What is the moment generating function of my random variable x? Uh, this should be a function of t, and that's why we've been noted as of t, of course. By definition, this is equal to the expected value of e uh, raised to the random variable x times t. Now keep in mind that the trials for a geometric random variable are independent. We will need that. So uh, that's equal to this, which is equal to the following. I just need to sum up all of my x's. x goes from 1 to infinity, e to the little xt, times the probability mass function. So no big deal, no big deal. Let's do some algebra and clean this up. Uh, let's factor out anything that does not depend on the lower index, namely uh, x. So I can do, what I can do is I can pull out a p and over one minus p times the sum x equals one to infinity of e to the t one minus p all raised to the x. Stop and think about that. You may have to fill in some details what I just did. Distribute the x, put the x through here, use algebra and distribute this. I claim it's equivalent. It's absolutely equivalent. I'm gonna just do some algebra. You guys, algebra is nothing to you, right? I mean, algebra is a walk in the park. So let's use the definition here for, well, this is by obviously a geometric uh, sum, geometric infinite sum. And we can, for now, assume that, um, well, the common ratio has to be less than one. So that looks good. So this is equal to the following. This is P divided by one minus P uh, times, first term is this business. So this is E, remember, a geometric sum converges to the first term, which is plug in X equals one, E to T one minus P times, or sorry, divided by, one minus the comma ratio. The comma ratio is the same thing. E to the t, one minus p. I don't have enough parentheses. One more. Oh, oh man. All right, that looks good. That looks good. The one minus p does cancel, so that looks nice. And what I get here is the following. This is my um, moment generating function for the uh, geometric random variable which I've described above. So there's my MGF, there's my MGF. Let me um, write that down. Let me record my information right here. So the moment generating function uh, of X is equal to P E to the T divided by one minus E to the T one minus P like so. Kind of a pain in the ass to remember if you ask me, but hopefully if worse comes to worse, you could go through this computation if you needed to. Now, I didn't really see any problems where you needed this, but it could come up. It could come up. For instance, if they asked you, if they gave you this, if they gave you this in the question, they asked you for an expected value, say, it would be quite easy to um, compute, right? Because you could recognize this as geometric and you know what the expected value is of a geometric sum. Now, now, I want to relate this to something else, namely, namely, the new random variable t, which is the number of trials 
until the kth, the kth success. Now, all of you guys are so good at probability. You guys know all of these uh, important discrete random variables, so you absolutely know what t represents. t is a negative binomial distribution. So, t, let me write it, let's just write it right here. So, t is distributed negative binomial and usually I think the parameters here are of course P and K. Okay, number, uh, how many successes do I want? I want K of them and the probability of success is P. What is the moment generating function of T? Well, the underlying uh, assumption is that trials, and I said this for geometric as well, trials are independent. Uh, geometric random variable trials are independent and same thing uh, with uh, the negative binomial. So trials are independent. We need that. We absolutely need that because I'm going to use that fact right now. Now I claim that t is equal to the following x1 plus x2 plus all the way up to xk where x i is geometric with parameter p from i equals 1 to k. So keep that in mind. Let's just talk about for a second, why is that true? The random variable t wants me to find, well, I want to find, uh, well, I'm interested in, I should say, the number of trials until the kth success. x1 is a geometric random variable with parameter p. This is the number of trials before success. Okay, so how many trials before success plus number of trials before success. So now I have the number of trials before two successes plus number of trials before three, number of trials before K. So total, this will give me the number of trials before K successes. Each one of these is uh, itself actually identically distributed geometric random variable with parameter P. How will I utilize this? Well, I'll use the fact that uh, these XI's are independent, okay? And I have the following. The moment generating function of capital T is equal to, by definition, the expected value of E to the capital T little t. But now make a substitution for what capital T is. This is the expected value uh, of E to the x1 plus x all the way up to xk times little t. What I want you to do, distribute little t through here make a distribution, and then we're going to use independence. This is a very, very useful technique. You all need to know this. Okay, This is equal to, once I've distributed this, use a property uh, of the exponential distribution. So keep in mind, this thing inside here is equal to e uh, to the x1 times t times e to the x2 times t. Uh, all the way up to e to the xk times t, right? Now I have the expected value of this product, this product of k things. Now I use independence. This is equal to e uh, of e to the x1 t all the way up to the expected value of e to the xk t. I know the moment generating functions of these. I know all of them. This is equal to uh, P e to the T divided by one minus e to the T uh, one minus P. So I'm using that up there. Times all the way up to multiply all of these. These are all identical. These all have the exact same moment generating function because they're all geometric random variables with parameter P. How many multiplications am I making? These are, multiply these k times. k times, easy peasy. We know properties of exponents. So this is equal to the following. p e to the t divided by 1 minus e to the t, uh, 1 minus p, all to the k. So there is the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution 
And that's what I wanted. That's actually what I wanted. Let me just write it down over here to make sure everything is crystal clear and we're good to go. We're good to go. So just to record my two results, I have two moment generating functions. I have that of the geometric random variable and I also now have the negative binomial uh, random variable. So one minus e to the t, one minus p, and I need to raise all this to the k. So now keep in mind I have, here is my uh, negative binomial and here is my um, geometric. So let's just be clear. I like to be clear. I apologize if I'm not always clear, but I want to be clear here. These are my MGFs. These are my MGFs. These are the two MGFs I wanted. And I hope from now on, you'll see that if you can remember the MGF for the geometric random variable, that that immediately gives you an indication of what the, uh, the uh, MGF for the negative binomial uh, distribution is. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think and please like the video.